Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today we're going to be blasting Phantasmagore debut full length on Headsplit Records, Insurrection or Submission. Fucking just look at that cover. Fuck yes. If you like death metal, chances are very high. You'll love Phantasmagore. Go grab a copy before this sells the fuck out. And today I got some stuff from Transylvanian Recordings, Dark Descent Records, and one item from Caligari Records. Distro, and I'll go over that first. That is the new full-length record from Spectral Wound, A Diabolic Thirst. Limited to 250 copies. Fucking awesome stuff here. Very just awesome fucking black metal. Profound Lord did the... Um, LP and CD, I think. And I'm pretty sure this is the third Spectral Wound full length. And it's really fucking good. Like, I listened to it downstairs on YouTube, and all six of these tracks are just amazing. The way they're written, they, it's just fucking killer stuff from Spectral Wound. Hailing from Montreal, Quebec. Just absolutely amazing stuff on Les Foles du Mal. I know I mispronounced that label name, but heavy duty fucking cassette tape as well. Sick shit. Can't wait to listen to this physically. And again, this is limited to 250 copies. I think the vinyl is sold out. And like I said, I found this on the Caligari distro. So happy hunting, killer stuff. And we have Cerebro Rot, Cessation of Life. This was a donation from Angela. Thank you so much. She also snagged this from Dark Descent Records. I lost my tape copy, so it's awesome to have a replacement. I do have the seven inch, but I didn't know anybody reissued this cassette, but it's limited to 111 copies on Death Division Rituals. And you know, this is, some of the filthiest death metal, you know, four tracks of just disgusting heaviness. You have Cessation of Life, Cerebral Rot, Putrefaction, Eternal Decay, Primordial Soup of Radioactive Sewage. I forget what songs were recorded for the full length, re-recorded I mean, but yeah, it's a killer fucking demo. Fucking A. So thank you, Angela. This is a nice, nice tape. My original one was just like, it was just a plain black, like, pro tape. So it's cool seeing this, like, you know, in a different, like, format, kind of. Now, all I ordered from Dark Descent Records was the new Grave Miasma record, um, Abyss of Wrathful Deities, and Dark Descent was rad enough to send over an Oath of Cruelty cassette for summary execution at dawn, and the Gorophilia cassette version of In the Eye of Nothing. So thank you, Matt, at Dark Descent Records. 
but I played through the new Grave Miasma while I took a shower. Holy shit, while well, I played through the A side. This is a fucking monster. It's a double A, it's a double LP on vinyl, and it sounds great on cassette. The guitar work, really fucking awesome. The solos straight up sound like fucking some Morbid Angel incantation stuff. If you like Brave My Asthma already, you're gonna love this. It's just a little less cavernous sounding than their earlier releases and just a little bit more crispy and it really works in the band's favor, especially with the guitar solos and everything. This doesn't just sound like another Incantation clone. It's its own fucking monster right here. And that monster is Grave Miasma. Abysmal of Wrath Deities. One of my favorite death metal records this year. And I only listened to it fucking once. And yeah, I know this is going to be a banger. And... I really dig the new Gorophilia. It's not as good as Severed Monolith, but it's still a great fucking record. Nine tracks of finished death metal. Rest in peace, Henry. And I didn't open up the J card yet. But I love Raul Gonzalez's artwork. It's a great record. Like, it's just, you know, beating Severed Monolith's kind of hard. That's such a good fucking album. But I can't wait to dive back into this on cassette. I, I always mention, you know, I love listening to death metal in the summertime. It's just something I love to do. And the Oath of Cruelty cassette for Summary Execution at Dawn. Killer thrashing death metal from Texas. Nice clear cassette. And let's check the J card out real quick. Promo photo. I love that Sodom shirt. And I love this fucking record. You have Matt Mayhem on drums, D Killer on lead guitar, right speaker rhythm guitar, and Dave of Death on vocals, lead guitar, left speaker rhythm guitar, and bass. I really like the way they did the cover here. It's just fucking cool looking. Nice layout and everything. But if you haven't heard this record yet, it's a fucking banger. Oath of Cruelty, Summary Execution at Dawn on Dark Descent Records. And now we have the Transylvanian Tapes little bundle that James sent over. Hails James, and thank you. First, this is Shroud of Vulture upon a Throne of Jackals. I've yet to listen to this, but it sounds badass based on the description I read and everything. And they have a nice readable logo. I'm guessing this is gonna roll just based on like the J card and everything. And its hands would weave the entrails of the priests for lack of a cord to strangle kings. Whoa. Alright, definitely want to check this out. Shroud of Vulture. Upon a Throne of Jackals. Sick fucking tape also. It's so hard not to headbang. Like, oh man. And here we have a six split. Torture Tomb and Combat? Fuck yeah. And, uh... I actually only listened to the, um... Torture Tomb side of things. And it was fucking awesome, so... I'm sure the whole rest of this release is awesome. Two songs from each band. 
and yeah, the cover art's fucking great. But I love split tapes, it's just something I love. And this dude's ass suck hoodie, fuck. Combat and Torture Tomb split. Fucking A. Made in the USA. Then we have Molten Dystopian Syndrome. Kind of actually looks like twins. But not really. But uh, Molten also, nine tracks on Transylvanian recordings. And here we have, um, hold on a second. Where the fuck did I put that? Oh. Here we have Grav Kavad with Grav Ruin. It's in a different language. Another Transylvanian tape slash Transylvanian recordings release. Four tracks. Not sure what this sounds like, but it looks very bleak on the cover. Let's check the J card real quick. Cool band photo. That's fucking sick. Real nice lyric sheet. Very, very nice cosmetic and stuff. Yeah, very hard to read though. Look at that logo. Grav Kavad. And lastly, we have Miserable Creature on this fucking disgusting green tape. Looks awesome. I've yet to hear this yet, also, and I'm looking forward to it. Just based on the fucking artwork and everything. It reminded me of, like, just awesomeness. Like, some kind of, you know, finished demo or something. Like, with the slimy borders and everything. So I'm definitely interested in this. Copyright Miserable Creature 2021. And this has an intro, Evil Grimace, Paralysis of Indecision, and Inconsolable. Looks like the artist that did the uh, Fuming Mouths did the uh, logo here. I'm trying to see real quick. All right, the logo is by Dave Long at Balsa underscore Doom. Artwork by Trench at Funeral French. And Fred Alvia mastered this, so I'm definitely interested in hearing Miserable Creature. Like, it's fucking sick looking. Fucking A. And that's my little collection update, but Oh wait, there's one more, oh no, that's it. But I should be able to get back to reviews tomorrow, hopefully. But we were blasting the new Phantasmagore, Insurrection or Submission. Hails to Headsplit Records. And hails to everybody that's supported this channel, Dark Descent Records, Transylvanian Recordings, Caligari Records, everybody that watches this, all the Patreons, everyone, you're fucking awesome. And as always, thanks for watching, you fucking rule. 
Be sure to check out Insurrection or, or Submission by Phantasmagore. This is the American head split version. And like I said, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hails.